गुड मॉर्निंग माई स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल वलीफिया योर मैथ टीचर ऑफ शबनम सैयद इंग्लिश स्कूल नेरल ओके चिल्ड्रन सुनाओ लेट सी वन एक्टिविटी रिलेटेड टू द नंबर जीरो सी कैन यू सी दिस मैच बॉक्स येस देर आर सो मैनी मैस्टिक्स इन द मैच बॉक्स राइट येस कैन यू योर द साउंड येस अ साउंड इज ऑल्सो बीन योर फ्रॉम द मैच बॉक्स नाउ वॉट आई विल डू नाउ I will remove all the matrix. Okay, all the matrix are been removed. Now, can you hear any sound? No, right? Can you see any matrix? Can no? There are no matrix in the match box. It means there are zero matrix in the match box. Nothing means zero. Zero means nothing. So there are no matrix in the box. Okay, now let's see one more activity related to the number zero. See here uh, in this box, there are the dies and in the box and uh, so now we shake it. So can you hear the sound? Yes, there are pebbles and dies in the box and we can hear the sounds. Now what I will do? I will remove all these dies and the pebbles. Now can you hear any sound? No, nothing. Now, can you see any pebbles or any dice? No. So there are no sound in the box. Means there is nothing in the box. It means it is zero because zero means nothing and nothing means zero. Okay. I hope you have understood. Okay, students. So in previous lecture we have done observe the picture carefully. Now today let's start with introduction and writing of zero. So see here in the picture. Let's count the passenger. One, two, three, four. Yes, there are four passengers are waiting for a bus. Now here, all the four passengers went in the bus. So how many remain? Yes, zero passengers remain because there are no passenger now remain. So it means there it is a zero. Now let's see another one. The white dish has how many ladoos? Let's count one, two, three, four, five. Yes, the white dish has five ladoos. Now pink dish has no ladoos. It means there are no means nothing means zero. So there are zero ladoos. So what do you mean by zero? Zero means nothing. Now let's just count the butterflies. Yes. Has Yash counted correctly? Just see, just count the butterfly. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, because he forgot to count this butterfly. There were seven butterflies, but Yash counted only six butterflies. Now let's see this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and here eight is also written. So is Rama's counting correct? No, she didn't count it correctly because there are only seven butterflies and she counted eight butterflies. Now, who came? A magician, King Fisher, came to their help, and and he told all the butterflies to stay in a line. So, see here in the in this picture, all the butterflies in, are in a one line. Now, is the counting easy now? Yes. How many butterflies are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, there are seven butterflies. Now, the so how how easier is to count when uh, the butterflies are in a line and not here and there. Now let's see next. What is easier, counting children while they are playing or while they are standing in a row? Yes, of years, of course, counting is easier only when the children are standing in a row. A teacher or a person can count them easily, na. But if they are playing, they will play here and there. Same like a butterfly. Butterflies are flying here and there, so counting becomes difficult. So counting is easier only when if the butterflies are in a line or if the children are standing in a. Row or in a, if it anything is arranged in a proper row line or a column, then the counting becomes easier. 
ओके नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व वन यस जॉइन द पिक्चर विद द करेक्ट नंबर्स एज यश हैज डन वन फॉर यू सी हाउ मेनी पिकॉक इज हियर वन यश हैज ऑलरेडी जॉइन द पिक्चर विद द करेक्ट नंबर नाउ लेट्स काउंट दिस माउस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन यस वेयर द नंबर सेवन इज हियर सो वी विल जॉइन द पिक्चर विद द नंबर सेवन नाउ हियर हाउ मेनी पेंगुइन आर देयर One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, there is number eight. Can you see? Can you tell me? Yes, here is the number eight. So, join this picture with the number eight. Now let's count this fly. Now one, two, three. Yes, where is the number three in the pic in the picture? Yes, number three is here. So we'll join the picture with the number. Correct number three. Now let's count this here. How many bad bugs are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, there are nine bad bugs in the picture. So we'll join the picture with the correct number. Now next, how many frogs are here? One, two, three, four, five. And can you tell me where is number five? Just see in the numbers. Yes, the number five is here. So we'll join this with the correct number five. Now, how many elephants are here? One, two, and the number two is here. So we'll join this picture to the number two. Now, here, how many snails are here? One, two, three, and four. Yes, so where is the number four? It is here. So we'll join this picture to the correct number four. Now let's count this tortoise. How many tortoises are here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, and where is the number six? Yes, the number six is here. So we'll join the picture with the number six. Now, now let's help Rama to join the numbers one to nine in the increasing. Order C one is already done here. Rama has joined the number from one to number two. Now after two, which number comes? Yes, number three. Now where is number three? Yes, one, two, three. So we'll join this from number two to number three in increasing order. Means from smallest number to biggest number. Now after three, which number comes? Number four. So where is number four dots are here? One, two, three. Four. So we'll join from here to this number from three to four. Now after four, which number comes? Yes, number five. So now let's join here to the number five. Where is five dots are here? Yes, here one, two, three, four, five. Yes. So we'll join here now. Next after five, which number comes? Number six. Let's count this box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, but this is seven. So where is six? Let's count this box. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it is your number six. Dots are here. So after five, we'll join to number six. Now after number six, which number comes? Seven. So we have already counted this. This was seven dots. So we'll join this box. After seven, which number comes? Eight. Let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, yes. So after seven, which number comes? Eight. So we'll join here. And after eight, which number comes? Nine. Now this is remain. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. So now we'll join from eight to nine. So in this way, Rama has has done his her activity. We have helped Rama to join the numbers. From one to nine in the increasing order. So here your uh, explanation of this lesson has been completed. A lesson of introduction and writing the number zero, and um, for till here your unit is portion has also completed. Okay, so see you all in the next lecture with the revision. Till here, keep practicing. Thank you.